My name is Sharon Fraser. I had acute myeloid leukemia, FLIP3. When I first found out that I had the cancer, I was really, really scared. The first thing that came to my mind is, what about my children? I've been making them breakfast, lunches and dinner all these years and that's my job. I keep telling myself that I have to leave because I need to go home. I need to go home and look after my children. I have four beautiful children, a German Shepherd and a wonderful husband. I had chemotherapy initially. The doctor told me that my chances of living is very, very low and I had to have a bone marrow transplant. I was being very hopeful and I thought like there shouldn't be any problem getting a bone marrow donor but they looked up 30 million people on the database and they couldn't find a perfect match for me. I was really, really nervous and uh, the only hope left was my brother and even with him, it's only 25% chance of being a match. He went through all the testing and when I found out that he was a match, I was really jumping to joy and actually dropped my phone when my doctor called me up and uh, yeah, just really happy that I found a match and I can live. My course of treatment from start to finish was around eight months. However, I still have to regularly see my dietitians, doctors and nurses for various reasons. So I guess you can say that my treatment is still uh, ongoing. The further away I am from my bone marrow transplant, the less I have to keep coming back to the hospital. Uh, nausea for me was a terrifying experience, uh, feeling constantly Queasy made it really hard for me to face eating and drinking. Even the thought of food gave me nausea. My nausea started two weeks after the chemotherapy treatment and it lasts for eight months till the end of the um, bone marrow transplant. Compliance with anti-emetics or anti-nausea medications is a big challenge when helping people with nausea and vomiting. Most times, when taken as prescribed, the medication works well to reduce severity and frequency of nausea and vomiting. It's also important to remember, like with most medications, there are different options for treatment. If one isn't working for you, let your treatment team know, and they'll work with you to find a medication routine that will work better for you. When I first felt nausea, I struggled to eat and drink. I could only tolerate a very small amount of food and fluid. The food could be sitting in front of me for an hour, but I just couldn't eat. I didn't have the desire to eat as all I felt was vomiting. I got the nasal gastric feeding tube put in four weeks after the chemotherapy treatment. I didn't want to have it put in at first and thinking that I could eat myself and it's kind of scary having a tube put in but my weight kept dropping which really concerns my doctor and dietitians. At the end I agreed to have it put in because my body became weaker and weaker. I was really worried about uh, my, my strength. So once I had it put in I actually felt really good, something that I should have done it earlier than later. After a while, I was able to start eating and drinking and I kept working on taking my nausea medications and I got my intake back to a point where I could maintain my weight. It's best to take nausea medication 20 to 30 minutes before meals. It can be of advantage to take them even if you feel well, but are likely to become nauseated during or after eating. It's also okay to take nausea medication between meals if you have nausea. But remember to discuss with your doctor and pharmacist if you're requiring your nausea medications frequently in between meals. People taking nausea medication should remember that communication with your team, doctor, pharmacist, nurse or dietitian is really important, especially if your nausea isn't well controlled. There may be other treatment options available to you. Poorly controlled nausea often leads to reduced food or energy intake, which can lead to malnutrition. I couldn't eat a lot uh, during the treatment but when I could eat, I really enjoy cold food. The most useful strategies to help people with nausea are things like regular snacking. Having something in the tummy usually reduces nausea. A small amount and I snack a lot, like every two hours I'll be eating. I couldn't eat one big amount of food at one time. Talking with a dietitian can help. They've got many strategies that relate to the way food is prepared. 
For example, opting for cool foods like fruit salad with yogurt or nuts that have virtually no smell. If you're vomiting, aim to keep yourself hydrated. Drinks or ice blocks that contain electrolytes can be useful. And try not to lie down for at least half an hour to an hour after a meal. The fear is, is there. I was very scared myself, not knowing whether I'll leave or not able to leave. But I think you need to really fully embrace every chance of leaving and never give up.